Here are two problems about multiplying powers with the same base, but different exponents. Or just colloquially speaking, we can say that these are called multiplying exponents, and you know what I mean. And you might know the rule that if you have the same base and different exponents, and you multiply the two together, you add the exponents. So in the first case, it's going to be uh, x uh, to the seventh. And in the second case, when you bring a uh, base to an exponent to another power, you multiply the exponents, and so that'll be x to the twelfth. And we'll put those answers up in a little bit, but I want to show a visual way of knowing why the rules apply, um, because if you don't aren't able to show it, then I don't think you really know why the rule works. So the first situation, uh, you have x to the fourth times x to the third. And we actually just show what x to the fourth is, and those are the pink circles over there. So that's just x times x times x times x. x to the third is x times x times x. And we just get x to the seventh. Um, that's by definition of what x to the seventh is, just x multiplied by itself seven times. I think it's clear that x is multiplying by itself seven times. And in the second example, um, we're bringing x to the fourth to the third power, which means we're multiplying it by itself three times. So we have three of those pink, long pink ovals, each containing four x's, and it's clear to see that um, we're multiplying four by three to get x to the twelfth there. And so that's how we get our answers. Um, it's good to know the rule, but I think it's even better to have an, uh, a conceptual understanding of why the rule works.